Well, I was saying that what we're seeing on our television screen, and I'm not sure if you can see this where you are, is that we're seeing SWAT teams, the sheriff, San Bruno police. They're very, they're very calm. It's a very, it seems to be a very, it's not a chaotic scene. And I'm wondering if that bodes well, or if that is standard practice when you come upon an active shooter situation uh, when you're in the police department. Well, you know, it's it's difficult to speculate, Cheryl, with any precision based on the known facts, right? So what we see here is professionals, right? San Mateo Sheriff's Department are the lead on this. Uh, these these guys have been down this path before, so they'll be very methodical, uh, very thoughtful, very measured in their response. Because, as you know, the, the primary concern at this juncture is to identify whether the shooter had any co-conspirators. Is he a so is he or she a sole actor? And we understand possibly it may be a she, in fact. Which is beyond rare. That's a that's a unicorn on a rainbow. If it's a female shooter, historically speaking, extremely rare. But so, the first thing here is to identify if there's a co-conspirator. Okay, so so you need to find out whether or not you've got one shooter or several. One witness on the ground, and, and take this with a grain of salt because this is all just developing and happening in real time. But Jesse Gary, the reporter with KTV, was interviewing a, a woman there who who worked a block away, and she said that she heard several shots. You know, and he, and he was very clear, you, you, we don't know if this is an automatic weapon, a semi-automatic weapon, but that it was several shots in a row. What does that mean to you? Correct. Well, a couple of things. Um, if you take that in, in conjunction with reports, uh, eyewitness reports of, uh, of the hospital taking in multiple patients, and then, you, and then you hear ear witness accounts, like that woman, and I heard her account of what she called rapid fire, uh, it's painting a, a very troubling picture, is what it's doing, because you, you have you have the casualties on one side affirmed by eyewitnesses at the hospital, and then you have ear witness accounts of rapid fire, uh, which you know could easily be correct. You difficult, know, to, difficult though, difficult to say for sure. It is difficult, and, and that's why we, we look to you for your expertise in these obviously very stressful situations um, when you've got. What appears to be several, this is at least 800, maybe up to 1,700 employees. We're trying to get the right data from the company as well. Um, you've got that many employees, hundreds of employees that work at these headquarters. How difficult is it to go? Do you go floor by floor? Do you enter the building? Do you start to yell through, say, your microphones to tell people to come out on their own? How do you handle this type of situation, that you, especially if there is still an active shooter on the premises? Well, the, 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 very, the very first step, as I mentioned earlier, is to identify to the extent that you can whether there's, whether there's another actor involved, whether there's someone mm -hmm. else involved. But then it's containment, containment and isolation. It's, it's, a, it's establishing an east-west, north-south uh, border lines, perimeter lines, encasing the spot, and then moving in slowly and methodically based on conferral with blueprints if they have them available. A lot of times they are available at the entrance to this building. Uh, this type of building. This is a 550,000 square foot behemoth. It's an absolute monster. And by all accounts, from what I've seen, uh, is security is not uh, does not appear to be at, at the top of their list of uh, of design for the building. Mm -hmm. And that's consistent with what I know from Google in New York over at 111 8th Avenue. Right. Uh, it's you know it's uh, it's all about fitness and wellness and interaction with uh, with the uh, workers and. All kinds of full-length lap pools and all all types of other amenities, which are very cool and interesting, uh, but it doesn't seem like, from what I've uh, looked at, that there's any indication of, of any type of security that's uh, significant uh, at this at this at this point. But getting back to your question, yeah, it's a, it's a methodical, thoughtful, very pragmatic, uh, room by room, square foot by square foot um, assessment of the location. To assess whether there's there's another player involved in this, another shooter. Right. Well, and and Pat, just want to update our viewers. The Fox has confirmed that San Francisco General Hospital, that's downtown San Francisco, has received a number of unknown patients from the YouTube campus. We are confirming that right now, but an unknown number. Pat Brosnan, thank you so much for joining us on this breaking news and your commentary, sir. We appreciate it.